<laughs> What's well, up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to the Let's Be Real podcast. It's Tyler and Juan. Oh, we got two people watching on Twitch right now. Good. Welcome. Craig is on. He's joining. What's up, everybody? Shout out to everybody on Twitch. Shout out to everybody on YouTube watching us on Instagram Live. We appreciate you guys. Today, we are talking about our top 10 favorite, not 80s, but we're talking about our top 10 favorite 70s movies. 70s. 70s. 7 0. Yep. 7 0. I got my list right here. Do you got your list prepared? I've had, I had this list prepared the same day we said we we're doing 70. Yeah. I remember you t- texting me. I was excited about this. Were you? I'm excited about this one. I I'm yeah, I can. Home from work with ankle pain. Oh man. I hope your ankle pain goes away. Just like the rain that we wished away. What? Stormy day. What? Oh. So. Okay. So guys, how you doing today? Doing good? I'm doing good. This is um a new adventure. What is? Filming during the daytime when the sun's out. I know, right? It's weird. Yeah, I know. I kind of like it. I have to readjust the lighting for the light coming through the window. I kind of like it. I, it's nice. feels good. It's a nice. It's a nice. We can open the window if you Stop like. Stop saying, no, you're going to overexpose really? everything. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to overexpose everything. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that naked light over there. Yep. That's why it's on the pole. Yep. It's, I didn't say it. You implied it. He just, it's just a light. It's got no, uh, got no, got no shirt on. You want to pop the shirt off? I'm, I'm not popping this shirt off. Hey, Peter, you need to relax. So, what are we doing? Top, you have a dad joke? What are we doing? What do you mean? Just, you have a, what are we doing? No, just, just what are we doing? We're going to talk about the, our favorite 70s movies. Um, also, three honorable mentions. Yes, not three. I mean, not four. No, but three. three. But three. I got Tress. Tress or Tress. Tris? Tress. Tress Lecce. Throwing cash. Naked, naked on the pole. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Throwing cash. So, yeah, we're, we're doing um 70s movies. Yeah. We're live. We're live on YouTube, Twitch, and Instagram. Look at that. Through Streamlabs. Um, it's working. We normally go live every week. For people that just mm-hmm. watch, watch or listen afterwards. Yeah. If you, s- you subscribe, hit that bell. You mean you get notified? Not notified. <laughs> you get Not- notified. You get notified when we go live, and you Dakota can watch Kai, and interact with us. Kai. Instead of Dakota Kai, it's notify. There you go. So yes, I have a question for you. What do you call a fish wearing a bow tie, Juan? Sophisticated. Oh, he got one. <laughs> That's my second one. Yeah, it is. Yep. Have I'm you, on a streak. Have you heard that one? I have. Oh, see. <laughs> All right, so I can, now I got to ask you another one. Yeah, okay. Not a fish one because I probably heard that too. A fish with no eyes? How do you follow Will Smith in the snow? If you get this right, I swear. How do, wait, what? How do you follow Will Smith in the snow? If you get this right. I will never do another dad joke. Hmm. But I want you to get it right. You follow his fresh footprints? His fresh prints. <laughs> he got it right. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Have you heard that one? No. You got that one right. Did I? Yeah. It says you follow his fresh prints. There you go. Oh, follow I... his fresh prints. All right. We're, uh, this is like a little game now. Hmm. Hold on. You Let's just turn the, this into a game. The uke up there. It's. Ah oh, man, the Duke was the original name of Dude, the Xbox you, controller. You remember that controller, the very first yes. Xbox controller, the Duke, bulky, massive. Yeah, it was like eighty feet tall. <laughs> Why are you? Are you okay? <laughs> this is probably one of the dumbest dad jokes you'll ever hear, but to me, it's hilarious. Okay, go ahead. You you got three right or two right? It's crazy. What do you call a satisfact? Dang it! I just gave you the answer. What is it? <laughs> what do you call a factory that makes okay products? 
Satisfactory? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gave you the answer. Oh, my God. <sighs> <laughs> Have you heard about the chocolate record player? The chocolate record player? Yeah. What is it? It sounds pretty sweet. Oh. <laughs> thought you'd appreciate that one since you got, you know. Record, I do. I have a vinyl collection. Now we just got to get you the chocolate album. Pretty sure there's one out there called the chocolate album. Maybe. Maybe one of these movies has it, you know. Maybe. So. Soundtrack. Star Trek. Oh, that movie was action and light lens flares. The not the original, the, yes, the Judge Abrams one, yes, a lot of lens flares. <laughs> you know, his wife told him to stop using lens flares in his movies, and he still did it. Yeah, I think she told him after The Force Awakens. Yep, The Force Awakens. <gasps> <sighs> oh my god, all right, so uh, do you want to kick this off? Oh sure. wait, no! You went first last week, so yes, I, should, I did. I think, I think we should. Yes, I think you should go first. Okay, you ready? Starting with our honorable mentions. Oh. Starting with <laughs> our honorable mentions, um, I'm gonna go with Superman. I'm banning Tyler from dad jokes. <laughs> Those were not bad dad jokes. No, no, they weren't. So, uh, Superman. Superman, the original. Yeah, the, yeah, but, yep. You made sure that all these movies are all from the seventies. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? You gonna Google it? No, no. I just like I said, you can put a certain movie on there. No. Yeah. Superman. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm trying to wake myself up. Don't question me. Um, my first thought I'll mention it's the rescuers. Oh, okay. A little cartoon, you know, little yeah. cartoons. Nice. I loved that movie growing up. The rescuers. That, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. I was hoping for Five Full Goes West, but that was not made in the seventies. No sir. Or the eighties. No sir. It was made in the nineties. You can put that on your nineties list. Foreshadowing. All right. I can. Yeah, yes, I can. Um, shadowing. The next honorable mention for me is Blazing Saddles. Oh, yeah, a little. That's a funny movie. Comedy. Yeah, I really. Uh, it's funny. It really pushes the envelope on a lot of political stuff. Just, just wait till I get going. Just wait till spring with a little car. Are you gonna come down and hang out with us or something? WrestleMania. Oh my god! <laughs> is Austin Marshall making a return? <laughs> Um, I think you should come down. Yeah. No, so Blazing Saddles. Good movie. It's a, I love it. It's it's really makes fun funny. of every stereotype. It really does. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's Red Dead Redemption with comedy. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. With a lot of uh stereotypes. <laughs> where the white women at? That's exactly That's exactly <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's where that famous quote came from. Where the white women at? Nobody knows. No, <laughs> that movie. If that movie came out today, it'd be canceled. I don't know if it would be. I don't know if it would be canceled, but I think a lot of people would be very upset. You know. I just think there'd be a big audience that'd be like, "This is horrible." Yeah. And there's a lot of people that say, "Oh, this is funny." Yeah. Yeah. There's a certain group of people that they don't even talk about in that movie that would be really upset if they remade that movie today. <laughs> I don't think they can or they should remake that movie. Well, you got to talk about all stereotypes. You can't just talk about one, you know. You got to talk about all of them. That's and that's what they did in that movie. Yeah. Except for a certain group of people. Okay. But, you know. What's your next honorable mention? The Warriors. Nice. So you had <clears throat> The Warriors. So you had The Outsiders, which was like The Warriors. Now you have The Warriors, which is like The Outsiders. Yep. <laughs> this The Warriors is the 70s version of The Outsiders. Yeah, no. And the Outsiders is the 80s version of the Warriors. <laughs> now I just got to find a 90s, 90s version, version of the Outsiders. There you go. I'm pretty sure there's one. <laughs> They're called the Insiders. No. Oh, the replacements. <laughs> All right. The replacements. 
All right, what's your... Uh... My last honorable mention is... You mean... What? No. No. What? what? Craig, what? Um... No, I don't know. My, what my last honorable mention is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I knew you were gonna put that on there. Why? I just I, I, I saw that. I'm like, yep, he's going. It's going somewhere on his list. Yeah. You probably did that for a few movies of mine. Oh yeah. Uh, well, I don't know about 70s, 80s. I knew your list, but um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The reason it's not oh. on. <laughs> Blazing Saddles. You mean the? <laughs> um, the reason it's not on my list list. Um, and it's on the honorable mention is because, um, it's like, yeah, it started off like Mm -hmm. this horror slasher craze, but you go back and watch it and it's kind of, it's very, it's a kind of repetitive. Like there's a lot of like screaming and like just in one sedentary spot. Yeah. It's a good movie, but like. I think other slashes are better. It's on oh, the yeah, list yeah. for, it, yeah, you know, and it's loosely based off a true story, kind, you know, loosely, mm-hmm. um, which gives it prop for that. But I don't know. Like in rewatching it, like a lot of the characters are annoying. Like I couldn't wait for so many. Like the dude. You in couldn't the wait wheelchair, for certain people to die. The dude in the wheelchair. I couldn't wait for him to die. He was <laughs> annoying. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> the guy in the wheelchair. Um. Yeah. So what's your final? Oh well, no, you already did. No, I didn't. no, okay. What's your final honorable mention? Robin Hood, Robin the cartoon Hood. version. Oh yes, man, Robin I, Hood. Remember that movie? Yeah. No. Oh. Yep. Still 70s. from the rich, give to the poor. Good old seventies. That's not a Disney movie, right? Yeah, it is. Yep. It's on Disney Plus. That's I, w- I was, as a kid, I used to watch the movie. They all got the, the time. um the big bear that goes around mm-hmm. with. Uh, Robin Hood. Yeah, he goes. He's in Magic Kingdom. He walks around Magic Kingdom. That's true. You're absolutely right. So now we start our list. Right. What's your uh, what's your what's your number ten? So this is my second Gene Wilder movie on the list. First one I don't read to the make list. it on the you don't like main holding, list. You don't like holding things, do you? Is Young Frankenstein. Oh, okay. Young Frankenstein. You seen that? Prince John. And the snake were a couple. Young Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen it? Yes. Yeah, that movie is hilarious. It's a parody on the Frankenstein monster. Yes, it is. Yeah. So, what are you doing? This was connected to that, so I was moving it. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. It's a good movie. That's my number 10. My number 10. My number 10 is Star Wars A New Hope. Nice. Yeah. I mean, it's a little high. You know how I feel about the uh, the first three that came out. They're not as good as the prequels. New Hope, I think, was the first one, right? The very first one. Yeah, I think that's the only one in the 70s, too. Uh, yeah, because... Yeah. The other two came out in the 80s. I thought it was good. But I just didn't think it was, I don't know. I think I think 10 is okay for I it. Mean, at, at least it made your list. Yeah, you know? for sure. It's it's. Uh, I had to put it on there. But I don't know. I just think there was a lot, like, not saying that movie was competing with a lot of movies, but. Like intentionally, but it was competing with a lot of other movies that were out in the seventies. Yeah, there was only like there wasn't. I think I feel like the variety of movies back then was. It's like either this or this one. It's not like, wasn't like a huge like. Okay, you have Star Wars. Marvel wasn't really popping off like it is today. No, it was Star Wars, and then you had you had some DC with you Superman. had some DC and Superman, but then you had a lot of fighting movies. Had a lot of horror movies. Yeah. So it's like Star Wars was still it, like like it was just doing it was just starting out. Sci fi was big, but it mm-hmm. wasn't like that. It wasn't like it is today. It didn't, Not even close. You know, a lot of the sci fi movies in the seventies they didn't really go to multiple planets and you know set up all these mm-hmm. different things. I mean, you could it can kind of say Star Trek kind of did, mm-hmm. but I mean that was. I think I mean? Star Trek was. Almost better than Star Wars when it first came out. Like the Star Trek was like on a 
It was like a head almost. Yeah. The what really saved the first Star Wars movie was the editing. I knew I knew a new hope would be on the list. There's a reason Carrie Fisher did that British accent. The Brits were the only actors trying. Well, I mean at in the seventies yes. the British actors they were the best actors of their time. Everybody else was somewhat new. Mm-hmm. You know, it's true. All right, so my my number nine is my third and final Gene Wilder movie. It's uh, Willy Wonka on the Chocolate Factory. That's a little high. You think so? I mean, it's a musical. I mean, it's a classic, but I'm not really yeah. into musicals like that. No, that's that, true. So. I just think that's probably one of the greatest movies in the seventies. Think so? I mean, I me just me. Per, I just I, I would say it's probably one of the Best family movies in the 80s. 70s. 70s, I mean. Yeah, that movie. Thinking about that Twitch stream. <laughs> no, but Willy no, Wonka. No, it got fixed on Twitch. Oh, okay. Willy Wonka and the Most Chocolate Factory. Nightmare fuel. Yeah. Yeah, it is. But, um, yeah. I, that's the best Wonka film. I haven't seen the new one. Which one? The, the, the one that came out this year. It's called Wonka? Yeah, it's called Isn't Wonka. Isn't that one like more creepy? No, I have no idea. The one with uh, Johnny Depp, that one's weird. It's not creepy, though. A little bit. He's creepy. His dad is creepy. His dad is Count Dooku. Mm-hmm. But, um, yes, it is. Um, Did you know he didn't read the script for the original movie or see the movie? Who? Johnny Depp. Yeah. He, he wanted, did that all his own. Yeah, he want, He didn't want to like draw from Gene Wilder. Which I think he did a great job at just displaying his own... like. You know, and the movie was written person. different for a different time, but I just think the original is. I think he was weird. The original, I think, was a little creepier. I don't like know. More insane. Not creepy, but he's like, the the little kid fell into the chocolate thing, was getting carted away by the Oompa Loompas, and he was like, "All right, off to the next part of the factory." You know, he didn't really. To care. me, that's like a little creepy, right? Because it's like in the he, remember in the book, wasn't he like a. I I don't I didn't read the book so I wasn't he like I'm pretty sure in the the like in the book like he killed all the kids. He may have I I don't know, <laughs> but I know Good Violet. Good morning, Starshine. The Earth says hello. I know Violet got what she deserved. Yeah, you're turning Violet, Violet. <laughs> yep. So what's your number nine? My number nine. Jaws. Wow. Okay. Nineteen seventy-five. <laughs> 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 Told you. I put Jaws on there. <laughs> What's your number nine? What? No, I'm just... Oh, okay. I'm just looking at my list. We talked about this movie on our last episode, even though it was... I actually... No. <laughs> we did talk about it because it ended up being... What do you say? The shark was so fake. Well, yeah. It was. It's a robot. It was. It looked even... But the thing is, it looked even more fake... As each movie went on. That's true. The first one, it looked the most real. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It was animatronic, you know. I, mean, I feel like it's the one they used at Universal almost. <laughs> it, it's like. <laughs> that ride had so many breakdowns because. It was so good. Yeah, it was. When that ride didn't break down. Oh, it was the best ride. But it never did. I feel like every time I got on, it broke down. It wasn't. I, it wasn't the same if it didn't break down. So they changed it, right? So the very first time I went to Universal Studios when I first moved here to Florida, they, um, you went into the little boathouse, but he mm-hmm. didn't attack the boathouse. I think they were like, oh, we should just go in here and hide. And then he, they waited for a radio call, and then they left the boathouse. The second time, before it closed, or the not the second time, but like before it closed, they changed it. To where he attacks the boathouse mm-hmm. and he bites. You know, there's like a there's like the door breaks and stuff, and you have to speed out of there. That was cool. That was better. Yeah, I agree. And I remember the apparently before they changed it, there was a part where he grabbed the boat and swam backwards. That's cool. But then they changed it. There's a part where he he like comes up towards the boat. So if you're sitting on the right side, on uh, like. By the water, yeah, he jumps at the boat. He jumps at the boat, and the boat tilts. Yeah, like, it's really cool. It's it, they took that part out too. They did. Yeah, because all it, uh, from the original, from the newer version, it went um, get on the boat, 
you go around Chief Brody's house, all the stuff, yeah. the mayor's house. You go around and then you see the boat sinking, and then mm-hmm. you don't see anybody. Then you see a fin. Yep. And then it comes at you. It'll jump out the boat, out, out the water once, and then it'll go under the boat, and then you escape that. Yep. Go under the boathouse. And then he blows it up. Uh, the right, the Skippy. He has that yeah. grenade launcher. Yeah, I remember the videos we used to watch on YouTube of yeah. the ones that would mess up. Yep. He's like, oh, what is this thing? <laughs> it like blew up. But the water blew up before he even shot it. <laughs> How not to do it? The guy's like, ah. Yeah, <laughs> no, those that that ride broke down every single time, but it was like it kind of felt like it was a part of it. Yeah, it's like okay. Oh, by yeah, by the way, we should start doing stuff like uh, when we find out new news on about like movies and stuff coming out, we should discuss it too. Yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. So after we're done with this, we can discuss that stuff. Okay, so so we're doing number eight now. Yes, we are. My number eight is The Sting. I, I knew you were going to put that one on there, too. How? It's just, these, it are, was, these are movie, I, like, I know your movie, movie taste. It was a movie of the week. Yes, it was. A while back. Yeah, it's it's a, it's, a, it's your taste in so movies. Robert Redford, that mm-hmm. movie is good. That's yes, kind of like, it's like a mystery, but they're also trying to take down this mob boss. Yep. It's it's a good movie. It's long, but it's good. So what's your next one? My number eight is Enter the Dragon. Oh, wow. Good. You said it like... <laughs> that's a great movie. Yeah, it is. It's a, one of my favorite 70s movies. Really? Yeah. it's Bro, it's Bruce Lee. Yeah, I know. That movie's so good. One of the only actors that doesn't talk. Doesn't talk much, and he's he's just boards. Don't fight back. I think that's all he says in that movie. I think so. Yeah, absolutely. The dude like tries to impress him by like punching a board, and he's like, "Boards don't punch back." You are absolutely right. They do not punch back, sir. Good day, sir. You lose. (laughs) All right, my next one is Star Wars. Which one? The first one. The only one that came uh, out in the seventies. A New Hope. Yeah. Good job. You mean good job? No, I was like, good job. Like, you put it on there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm glad you did. All right. Yeah, Star I'm Wars. for you. I'm happy for you. We already discussed this, so what's the next one? What's your next one? Rocky 2. Rocky 2? Yep. That came out in the 70s? Yes, it did. Okay. If he dies, he dies. That's 4? I know. <laughs> I just wanted to quote Rocky 4. So, Rocky 2, that's... um. Trying to think, he doesn't beat Apollo Creed until Rocky II, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, because he loses to Apollo in the, in first, the first one. one. That's no. what made the first. That one made. That's what made the first two like perfect. Yeah. So Apollo, like, R.I.P. Carl Weathers. Yes. Rest in peace, Carl Weathers. Um, he that's gains the respect of Apollo, mm-hmm. and then he is, he gives him another chance at the title, and that's when he wins. And then Apollo and, ends up training him. And then yeah, and, and three to yep. fight Mr. T. Mr. T. <laughs> I pity the fool. Man, and then and, he, Hulk Hogan? and then in number four, Apollo comes back. Apollo dies and dies in the ring. Yep. If he dies, he dies. Throw the towel. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. Should have threw the towel. Should have threw the towel. Should have uh, threw the towel. So my turn, right? Yes, it is. It's number seven. Enter the dragon. Oh, look at you! Is it number seven? Yes, it's number seven. Ten, nine, eight, seven. No, six. Enter the dragon. Oh, six. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Enter the dragon. That Do you know that bear claw that mm-hmm. he had? I mean, I wanted one of those when I was a kid. Why? Because I was getting bullied. Maybe I can slice some people. Okay, so you just... <laughs> okay. So you're just like, okay, let me just let me just hurt these people, right? Just slice it. No. Hmm. But let me just hurt these people. <laughs> That's interesting. You just wanted to hurt people. No, I don't want to hurt people. I don't know. It sounds like you wanted to kill them. Nope. You sure? Nope. Hey, we can talk about this one. We can talk about this. Talk about what? I don't want to hurt to kill nobody. People. It's okay, bro. It's okay. I just saw it. I just saw it look cool. It's a hand of a bear. It, All right, enter is. the dragon. What's your What's your number six? My number six, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Nice, dude. Nice. <laughs> that movie. When they're riding the horse and they had the coconuts. <laughs> Where did you even get coconuts? It's not even tropical. <laughs> 
<laughs> that whole movie is. Oh my gosh. That those, it's, it's just a flesh wound. Those types of movies and like Monty Python, Airplane, the movies like that, where like even Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Yes, and like the com- where the comedy mm-hmm. is like riff, where it's based off what people mm-hmm. say. Like I love that stuff. It's a lot of it's a a lot of it's improv. Improv. Yeah, and a lot of it would go over your head. Yeah, you're like, you don't pay, like wait a minute. Do you do you remember that movie? I it's been forever since. Do I've you remember the it. scene where the rabbit kills everybody? I yeah. <laughs> They're in the they're in the cave. They're like, they're I forget what they're reading, but they read it word for word, and it says, "Uh, like somebody died while writing it." Yeah. It's like, what does this even mean? <laughs> and then they're like, then they look over the rocks and they're like, "Oh, look at the monster! It's just a rabbit." <laughs> and the rabbit's like jumping from one guy, and it zooms in close, and it's just jumping from guy to guy, biting their necks. That's funny. You remember the one the part where he's uh, there? He's like, "You shall not pass." No, I don't remember. I'm sorry. You. When when the troll is like, I have a riddle. <laughs> three. I have three questions. One of them's like, what's my... F-? He, the troll is like, what's your favorite color? <laughs> he goes, blue. No, red. Ah! And he gets thrown into the air. <laughs> He's like, blue. No, red. And he, the troll like killed him. <laughs> it's it's a... You got to rewatch that movie. It's... Do you remember the scene where the knight in black armor... Got his arm chopped off. He's like, it's just oh, a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. And then he cuts his legs off. He's like, I'll but, bite you. But I'll bite you. <laughs> it's just a scratch. I'll bite you. He's like trying to bite him. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's classic. But go right ahead. Go ahead. What is this? Number five? Uh, I think so. Yes. We Rocky. Are number. Yes. Rocky. Rocky number one. Rocky number one. Rocky Maivia. <laughs> Rocky number one. Yes. Rocky number uno. Is it um? There's not a lot <clears throat> that happens in this movie, but I mean, Sylvester Stallone did write mm-hmm. that movie. Um, and he talked more, but he no, I'm thinking about Rambo. Sorry, he did write Rocky, um, but I don't think he directed it. Nobody wanted the movie either, which is crazy. Really? Nobody wanted to like make this movie. I'm surprised. Yeah. Uh, well. For them to say that, it actually turned out to be a good movie. It's a whole. They're still making movies. I think they're working on. I think they should have eventually stopped. You know, but yeah, you know, it's it's. What do I know? Say what you will about Rocky Six. What do I know? Rocky Five and Rocky Six. I'm just a fan. Yeah. So yeah, the first Rocky. The first Rocky. That's a great movie. It is. That's why it's number five. So. You ready? For your next one, what's your number five? My number five is Blazing Saddles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't give me any crap for me, like, putting it on my no. honorable mentions and you put it on your number no. five. No. Oh, okay. To me, it's not like the movie that's like, needs to be in top five territory. Gotcha. It's just your top five. Yeah. Okay. But if it was like a... You know, like Marvel related, like how Akeem's like, oh, Far From Home, <laughs> track kind of thing. I'd be like, yeah. and we were both like, what are you talking about? What? Yeah. That movie was good. Like, that, if it, unless yeah, it's something yeah, like yeah. that, then no, no. You're, gotcha. You're fine. But yeah, we already talked about Blade of Saddle. So what's your next move? What's your number four? Oof, Carrie. Oh, I see, bro. <laughs> uh, I knew you were going to put that on there. Really? Yes. Man. It's just your type of movie. John Travolta. Mm-hmm. And that Chevelle, yes. when she freaking, that I, I think doesn't she she smashed the car? I, yes, I think she smashed it. I'm thinking of another movie, um, but her mom in that movie, holy crap, did she scare me? Really? Yeah, her mom's because her mom like, so like anything like she'll say, like oh that's the devil speaking. That's you know what I mean. She's mm-hmm. like no mama, that's normal. You know what I mean? Yes, like. Like when she gets her period and mm-hmm. her mom never told her about it and her mom thinks that she's like she thinks like she's like um possessed by the devil. So mm-hmm. she throws her in the closet. Yes. Like, I to remember. say her prayers, like like no, she goes, No, that's that's normal. Why didn't you tell me? And her mom's like her so her mom was like, I don't know, scare me, so Yes. Oh uh, yeah. That that movie's uh Yeah. I can see why she would scare you. Yeah. It'd scare anybody. Right? 
at that point. Because it's like, but <laughs> her power, like, also like at the end when um um her hand comes comes out. Not her hand. I'm sorry. I'm getting all these movies mixed up. Um, something happens at the end of the movie. I don't remember. Where it was like, oh, she's not really dead. I forgot. Where That's Carrie's like, not really dead? Something like that. Like, something happens at her grave site where the house, like, collapsed. Like, the mm-hmm. rocks are still there. I don't know what happened. I don't remember. Maybe nothing happened. I'm just getting another movie mixed up. Because there was a remake. There was a remake of Carrie. Yeah, there, there was, was a Carrie 2, and then there was a remake mm-hmm. with... Uh, them. The remake was all right. Yeah, well, obviously. That, yeah, it's, I, I agree with you. It's not as good as the... Not as good as the first one. Not at all. Not and even close. Dumping the pig's blood on her at prom. That was embarrassing. <laughs> I would, I would, I would have freaked out too. Yeah, man. I would have really freaked out. All right. What is your next one? Your <laughs> number four. Grease. Nice. And <laughs> John Travolta again. Grease lightning. Go you know, grease lightning. I think I had grease on here. But then I took it off for Chocolate Factory. Mm. They got, in my opinion, that's a better musical. Uh, yeah. I just, I mean, Grease is so legendary. It is legendary. Young prime Travolta, bro. Literally. You should see his first one, Saturday Night Fever. I was going to put that on here, but I was like, eh, it's not as good as Grease. No, it's not. It's not. I think the, the movie was as a whole was better, the music. And plus, it's set in high school in the mm-hmm. 50s. More relatable. Yeah. The leather jackets. Mm-hmm. The, the greasers. The nice car. The, yeah, the, the T-Birds. Yeah, the T-Birds. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a good... It was... I think it was perfect. Definitely inspired High School Musical. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 100%. Mm-hmm. 100%. But what about you? My number three is an action film. Oh, okay. Smokey and the Bandit. Oh, wow. I almost put I almost put that on there. That Firebird? Yes. Car, man, everybody wanted one of those when that came out. That was a nice car. So that movie is like, the premise of that movie, he's hauling beer. He's hauling beer across state lines, which is illegal at the time. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was funny. I, there's like the, the cop that's chasing him. Like the car, the cop car gets getting beat up throughout the whole movie. And there's one point where he's like, I think... His partner's like holding on to the door or the roof, like above his head or something like that. I started mm-hmm. driving away. What? I just think it's funny. Like oh. he, he, the, his <laughs> his his partner in his car of the sheriff is like trying to pe- like hold the car together as mm-hmm. they're chasing Smokey. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I haven't seen that movie in forever. Really? So I'm just trying to like remember, remember what you're yeah. saying. So forgive me if it seems like I'm like. No, you're good. But I that just movie, like. Yeah, I, I I watched it recently, but it's a good movie though. Yeah. I remember it being a really good movie. It is. So it's like it kind of inspired Fast and the Furious. Oh yeah, a I little mean, bit. One hundred percent. Yeah. Just like outsiders, like warriors and outsiders, from outsiders to like whatever that the Greece. Name. Like I mean, Greece it, to yeah. You know, just musicals. Even though Greece was a musical, it had that. They had the leather jackets. They looked like they were in the Outsiders. Yeah. But, so. What is your number three, me lord? (laughs) Your number three, me lord. (laughs) Godfather 2. Oh, I knew Godfather. One of them was going to be on there. You know what I mean when it comes to these mafia movies, man. I love them. They're like like always. Young. Is it Al Pacino's in there, right? Um, Not in two. No. He's in. Which one? Which one is he in? He's in number one. Oh, okay. I mean, if you want, I can uh, look up the cast. I mean, I just, I don't know. Because like, actually, I'm, I'm curious. I'm to curious. be honest, I've never seen any of the Godfather movies. It's worth take. It, it's, it's, you're going to, you would have to commit some time. Yeah. I know they're, they're long and a little slow burn, but I'm pretty sure they're good. If, oh, no, they're great. Yeah. You had Al Pacino in the first one. Marlon Brando. James Kahn. Yeah, dude, that movie's amazing. I would I would definitely watch it. Yeah, I'll check it out. I think it's on HBO Max. Let me just I just want to confirm that uh, if Al Pacino's in the second one. 
I have no He's idea. in the second one. Oh, okay. He plays Michael Corleone. So he makes... He's Robert De Niro plays Vito. Okay. So, the Corleone is, like, very popular in last name, so... A very, it. it's an, I know it's, um, they're, like, Italian mafia mm-hmm. type. If you like the mafia games, you'll like this. Okay. It's... You get, and then you'll be like, oh, the mafia games clearly drew inspiration from, like, these movies. From those movies? Yeah. Okay. If you like it, then you'll... Yeah. But go. What's your? Uh, what is your number two? Number two, Halloween. I, the the I, first one, yo, John Carpenter. Bro, you you like pretty much like put together like another like horror film list. Oh man, I love horror movies. I know you do. I was watching one the other day. Which one? Um, it's a it's a forest one. It's a it's the one from <laughs> crap from Sweden on Netflix. It's called uh, the Conference. Really? We'll talk about it later. So, but Halloween, like the reason why it's number two and not number one for me, mm-hmm. is because I, th- um, there's the next one after this is more horror suspense. This mm-hmm. one's more horror thriller slasher. slasher. Okay. So, like I lo- like I love the first Halloween. Like I either start it, I either start Halloween season with that movie or I end it with this movie so it's like it, it's just that good and the fact that number two like ties directly into number one like mm-hmm. number one like dr uh loomis looks over the he looks over the balcony and mm-hmm. michael's gone and then that's exactly where number two starts so i i, I like movies that li- are like that as well but the first one, like the lore behind Michael and you're trying to figure out, OK, he's been in this like he just went crazy, stabbed his sister. Mm-hmm. And then he's been in this um, whatchamacallit, uh, um, insane asylum since then. And now he's probably about like 25 and he knows how to drive. Who and taught this him one, how, he to know how to drive? Yeah. Who taught him how to uh, drive? Everybody's screwed if he knows how to drive. He does. He knows how to drive. That's how he gets back to Haddonfield. Done for. Done for. They're all done for. If They're he, all uh, done for. If he knows how to drive. He does. Who taught him? He's going to go buy a Ferrari and... Yeah. And then also, you know, you got Jamie Lee Curtis. Yes. So, I mean, that's it right there. So that's my number two. Halloween. John Carpenter. Like, my... John Carpenter is probably, like, my favorite, like, horror director. Really? You're... Like one of one of my favorites because he does he also did the thing, mm-hmm. which that movie is incredible. He also did some other ones. He did number two, obviously. He's done some other stuff, but I can't remember right now. Is there any other movies that you would put up there with Halloween, directed by this guy? Let me look. Um, the thing. Halloween two. Let me look him up. Um, well, he did Christine. Mm-hmm. Remember the, the, the car that's yes. possessed? That was a good movie. Yeah. A possessed car. Mm-hmm. It would run people jealous. over. Jealous. It's a jealous car, too. It would just run um, people over. He did They Live mm-hmm. with um, Roddy Piper, where he puts the glasses yes. on. Um, he also did Escape from New York. Um, he did Big Trouble in Little China. Um, he was like a producer or like a consultant as well on the final three Halloween movies. Mm-hmm. So his story, his chapter of his Halloween stuff mm-hmm. is closed because he did one and two and then he did um, the three new trilogies that came out in this past couple of years. Mm-hmm. So his story is done. You know, everything else after or before is not from him. He did Halloween 3 as well. It's in here. And H2O. All right. Um, yeah. But I think, like, the first Halloween and maybe the thing 
could be interchangeable on like a horror movie list, but as far from the seventies, just the first Halloween, because that's uh, that's what he's got. Hmm. Interesting. No, that's like a really good. That's cool. Um, what's your number two? Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, the original. Nice. Did the you movie. ever want? Did you ever want to open a cho- a Wonka chocolate bar and see, no. find the golden ticket? No. 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 Weren't they were doing that promotion when for the Johnny Depp one? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It, they were like, oh, if you get a gold ticket, you get something. No, yeah, you get um, it's a free ticket to watch the movie, yeah. the local movie theater, or whatever. Mm-hmm. I never found one. I never. I wasn't. I'm not like my thing is it's like not a big fan of chocolate bars. Okay. Yeah. Like, I'll eat them. But like, you won't go out of your way and buy it. Like a chocolate like a, bar, like a chocolate like, bar, like a yeah. Hershey's bar. Yeah. But the cookies and cream, though, that's that's different. a different story. Untouchable. I will eat that. That yeah, that's a different. But story. like chocolate bars, I'm not like oh my god. So it never really drew me in to be like oh, I mean if it was Kit Kat, to be a little different story. <laughs> that I would I would have bought so much to get a golden ticket. Oh yeah. But to me, Kit Kats are not chocolate bars. No, um, no. Huh. They're chocolate they're sticks. Wa- they're like wafers. The chocolate, chocolate wa- wafer they're, sticks. They're chocolate crispy wafer sticks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, what is your number one, my, my friend? My number one is Alien. Wow, I'm surprised Jaws wasn't on this list. Jaws is not on this list. Surprise. <laughs> only for the 80s, right? Yep, only for the 80s. Uh, yeah, Alien. Um, That's James Cameron. Mm-hmm. The first one. Yes, it is. That is a... That is not... That's a horror movie. Not an action horror like the second one. This one, there's one alien in the ship. Don't know where it is. You got to try and find it. And what I like about this movie is he did not tell the um, the actors. James Cameron did not tell the actors about the chest burst scene. Okay. That was going to happen. It wasn't it wasn't in So that was a surprise to everybody. Yeah, it wasn't in their script. It only was in the script and he told the person like obviously he told the the cinematographer mm-hmm. and if he wasn't the director, he told the director, but and he also told the person that it was gonna burst out of. But everybody else, where they look scared and they don't know what's going on in the movie, that's their natural mm-hmm. reaction. Hmm. And I love that because like how is like okay, all of a sudden he's complaining about chest stuff you know what i mean like his chest mm-hmm. oh my chest hurts and then he's flipping around on the table and here comes an alien just shooting out of his chest like the only way to get their reaction for that is to have it be organic and natural and i love that hmm. and it just like ties you into the movie because there's no music going on to that team too it's just him screaming which is usually not the case right it's usually music involved yeah but I think the music takes tension away. No music will add tension because it make you feel like you're there with them when you're doing that. That's true. It made it more personal. Yeah. So my number one for 70s is Alien. Hmm. It's a good movie. It's a great movie. So uh, my number one is The Godfather. Ooh, back to back. Yeah, Godfather 2, Wally Wonka, and then that one. Yeah, so not back-to-back. Yeah, like I said, bro, I'm a big fan of Mafia movies. Just something about them, man. Like, I don't know. It's like loyalty means everything in those movies. Yeah. And then it's like people getting their fingers chopped off and... Like the way they die in those movies, just the, just the, like literally, like the loyalty, yeah, in those movies is crazy. And you watch it, um, you see, I don't know, it's just young Al Pacino, De Niro when he's a little younger, mm-hmm. like classic movies. Like I would, you've seen Scarface, right? Yeah. Okay, you gotta watch these. Okay. And then you're gonna watch Al Pacino, and you're gonna be like, he's not Cuban in this one. <laughs> he's not Cuban in real life either. So. I know. But he's not playing a Cuban drug lord. Yeah. This one's a different role, and he does a good job. So okay. I would recommend watching it. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll watch it. So, yeah. Those are our top 10 lists. But um, <laughs> Top 10 70s. Yep. So, have you heard anything 
about <clears throat> the Fantastic Four cast? Um, I think wasn't it Pedro Pascal is Mr. Fantastic? Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah, Pedro Pascal. Um, I saw it on Twitter. Yeah, that's all I've heard. Yeah, Pedro Pascal. Joseph Quinn is in the Fantastic Four. I don't. I have to see his face. Joseph Quinn. Joseph Quinn. Right. What role did he play? I don't know. I have to see you his face. You recently saw this guy. I have to see his face. Eddie. Show me his face. Eddie. Yeah. Show me Eddie Guerrero. Eddie. Show me his face. Eddie. He played the greatest guitar solo. Oh. I, I he didn't did know it his... for Chrissy. Okay. I didn't know. This his... one's for Christy. I didn't know his real name. Joseph Quinn. Yeah. He's in that movie. Um, oh, he's in A Quiet Place Day One. And Gladiator 2. Oh, Quiet Place Day 1. That's the new one. Mm-hmm. I like I liked Quiet Place Part 2. That was good. I didn't watch that one. Really? I didn't, I didn't watch the original either. Oh. Uh, like, so that's... And then we, you, you're not going to see Thing's face, but obviously. Who's, uh... Su- who's, uh... I'm not sure... Let me see. It is. What's her name? I'm trying to find it right now. No, the character's name. That's, I forget her name. So you got Mr. Fantastic. And his, I think that's his wife. Yeah, but she has a name. Yeah. She turns invisible. Sue, so. Sue Storm's coming, but that's X-Men. Mm-hmm. That is X-Men. Yep. <laughs> that's Halle Berry. Yes, it is. I wish they would just put the people's names under that. Why don't you just Google it? I don't know. Twitter has so many things. You just Google it. Because they tweet probably multiple times a day. But um, I like Pedro Pascal in The Last of Us. He did an amazing job as Joel. I can't wait for season two. I haven't seen it yet. It's really good. Really good. Apparently, Fantastic Four and Superman Legacy were released the sa- in the same month, in July of 2025. Nice. Superman Legacy. I know who, it's not MCU, but... Who do they got for Superman? I'm about to find out. Because they got to do, like... They got to look at, like, a Peter Parker... Is Pedro Pascal... Not Pedro Pascal. I think Oscar Isaac's in this movie. No. They got to look at like um, Peter Parker, Bruce Wayne type. Can they play both? Can he play Superman and Clark Kent really well? So it's Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards. Right. Vanessa Kirby as Sue Storm. Ooh, Vanessa Kirby. Joseph Quinn as Johnny Storm. Yvonne Moss, Bacharach as Ben Grimm, which is the thing. Yeah. So it's looking like, I like the cast. I'm liking the cast. I'm liking the cast as well. Vanessa Kirby, she was in the Hobbs and Shaw movie and Mission Impossible mm-hmm. 6 and 7. Yes, yeah, she was. Um, she was also in Mr. Jones. She was also in Napoleon. Is this is this when we're finally going to see Doctor Doom? I mean, finally. We haven't seen him in the MCU. Not in the MCU, no, but he was in the first two. Uh, yeah, he was. Fantastic film. Fantastic. But, movies. you know. They're gonna do so much. They're gonna make it so much better. Like they're gonna make it way better. I would like to see Doctor Doom as like a villain, as not like the next Thane, Thanos, but like a guy in between. That I mean, he's movies. got like who? Who else is? Who else would you put above him? Like he would be a great like. He's a step up from a lot of villains. Yeah. I'd say he could be right under Thanos. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he but would won't he be, be like, the next great villain? No, Remember, that's the what Silver I'm saying. Surfer, like, I don't think he... It's going to lead up to Galactus. Because the Silver Surfer, 
always comes before Galactus. Correct. He always comes and warns the the um and we had that in one of the movies already. Yeah, fantastic Four, second Silver rise of the Silver Surfer. Yeah. Which all it was saying is, hey, he didn't really do much in the movie. He was, no, he was preparing the Earth. Yeah. But for Galactus. Right. Which we never got to saw Galactus. Well, we saw like we saw a little bit, you know what I mean? Galactus was this big kind of thing coming towards the Earth. We saw Galactus. We saw more of Galactus in Fortnite than we did in that movie. <laughs> I think we saw Galactus in one of the Avengers films. I think the very first one. Where? I don't know. Really? I think so. Or he's, I don't know. Thanos goes and... No. Loki goes and talks to Thanos. And I mm-hmm. think Gal- like Galactus is around. Or no. Doctor Strange has Dormammu. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. Now maybe, you're making me think. Oh, maybe he's in the Eternals? No, he didn't show up in the Eternals. No, but isn't he the guy like explaining why the Earth has to be restarted? Mm-hmm. That's somebody like, else. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. So the first Galactus MCU appearance will be reportedly, it'll be in the 2025 Fantastic okay. Four. Cool. So it'll probably be like a Thanos um, cameo, Esk. like at the end, mm. where he like you see him. But that's a celestial Galactus, is a yeah, it's a celestial, right? So that's when the Eter- Eternals two. No, I'm just saying like <laughs> that. What you what, is this gonna be the first time we see the celestial halfway out of the Earth? In the oh, movie? maybe because a lot of people remember their complaints were like, oh, we never see that body the the celestial that's halfway around the Earth. Yeah. You understand how big the Earth is? Not yeah. every movie is shot where that celestial is sticking out. Yeah, the Earth is massive. And it's in the ocean. You can see it from... So Eternals is shot in the UK. Mm-hmm. Right? You can... I think you can see the shadow of it at the end. But what's his name? Jon Snow disappeared. Yeah. So... But the celestial is in the water. It's not even on land. You know what I mean? So it's like... To see it, you have to go out there and see it. Yeah. It's not like you can see it from the land. It's so a lot of people are like what we don't even see that is it like well it's because every single movie has a place and it's a uh, it's Spider Man you're not gonna see the Spider Man that's all the way in like New York. New York like why would you see it in a different superhero movie when it has nothing to do with Celestials Yeah, it's like it's you know you go to Hawaii you're not gonna see the I mean you're not gonna see the. Mm-hmm. Ice caps from Antarctica. the only movies that have put celestials in there are Eternals, Thor: Love and Thunder had celestials in it, yeah, and um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. And when they fought a celestial, they fought Ego. Well, Dormammu was a celestial. From uh, the- I don't know if he's a celestial. He's just a floating head in space. Yeah, I don't think I don't know if he's a celestial. He if ruled time. Hmm? He ruled time. Remember, uh, what's his name was using the stone against him. The time mm-hmm. stone. Yeah, it says he's not a celestial. No. Oh. He's a he's uh a he's faultine a is an extra dimensional being made out of pure magic born in the dark dimension. Sounds like a celestial to me. <laughs> <laughs> but so it's like you're not so it's like I don't understand why people are getting so upset. Oh, why are we not seeing the celestial? Maybe they're not water? talking about it. Because it was like on the news. You know yeah, what I mean? It, it was, was on the news but, in that movie. But we already but know maybe how not like mentioning that's probably gonna happen in the in the Fantastic Four movie. They're gonna mention it. Definitely. Because they get their powers when they're up in yeah. space. You remember when the when the snap happened and what it in Endgame, right? Mm-hmm. No, Infinity War. Infinity War. It shows after the snap. You know like how it's like, okay, what's it gonna look like after that? After the snap, then you started seeing more people disappear. Yeah. So it's like, and then you see these freak out incidents always get explained in other later. movies. Yeah, in other movies. So the next time you see the snap is um, End Game, where Captain America, like they show all the different cities and Captain America's, like it's yeah, you, five years yeah, after. You show uh, Clint, and then his he goes inside. His family disappears because that's just the snap. Yeah. So like, and then five years later, like you see everything is like Come, yeah. desolate. Yeah, what happened when everybody point. came back? When they resnapped everything, everybody came back. Yep. And chaos, mm-hmm. news breaking, this and that, and then that's what birthed the celestial, and the Eternals. Think so? 
Yeah. Yeah. Thanos was coming so the Celestia doesn't burst through the Oh, earth. yeah. That's Remember, right. Remember, the Celestials are inside the Earth and they get born. They get bigger and they grow with the more energy and vibration. Yeah. So you cut half of that. Stops it. Stops it. So he was coming to save. Exactly. Mm. I think he was running from Galactus pretty much. That's what Thanos... Because it's like Thanos is this great villain, but then it's like you got Galactus and the Celestials. I think that... Remember, he's linked to the Eternals. Yeah. His, I think his brother's in the Eternals. They... Um, so they talk about that, you know, they're like, how come you didn't interfere, you know? It's like, you know, we don't interfere in Earth's affairs or whatever. Like, because it has, they're talking about the events in New York. You know, if they're superheroes, how come they didn't? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, well, that's a small thing. You know what I mean? Now, if you ask them, hey, how come you didn't interfere in the snap? You know, knowing Thanos got all of the things, like, why didn't they Mm -hmm. show up? Knowing that, you know, he was going to snap all life away Mm -hmm. from that planet to keep it from being Mm -hmm. destroyed. Then that's a different story. You're like, oh, well, they have to we exp- re- have to explain it without trying to change what happened in Earth. Mm-hmm. Because, like, like wouldn't he want the Earth snapped? Like, that's how he gets his power. Like, he yeah. wants the Earth, like, to re- be burned alive, be burned and then restart, and then he goes on to another planet. Mm-hmm. He sends them somewhere else yeah. to do the same thing. It's true. Yeah, that's what Thanos is doing, going from planet to planet. Kind of wiping out half the population. He explains it to Gamora. He's like, "Your plan, your when I, before I did what I did, you're 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 you know, you're rummaging for scraps. There was people were living on the streets. There was homeless. There was people dying. After I did what I did, people are now it's flourished. Every like your 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 planet was dying. Now it's flourished. Now it's back to life. Now it consists half like the population is gone. Yeah, he proposed the same thing on his own planet. To Titan. To Titan, and they call him a madman. Yeah. And then now look at Titan. They got taken over. Yeah. Every, like, it's it's, it's not there anymore. He's the only one left. Mm-hmm. And then that's when he came to Earth and did it. That's why it makes sense. Yeah. Thanos is right. So he's tried to save Earth. Yep. So, find out in the... I just wish it was... We're in the beginning of 2024. There's not really a lot of Marvel coming out this year. Mm-mm. There's not a lot. There's not a lot of movies coming out. No, there's a there's a lot of movies, but there's not a lot of Marvel related. Like there's Deadpool and Wolverine coming yep. out. That's been announced for July. And they're gonna be prepping. That's bro. I'm I'm excited about that. It's not MC. It's not like, but it's 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 Marvel. It's Marvel, and uh, you get Wolverine again. Watch. Well, we're pro- it's it, it's gonna be it's Hugh Jackman and Wade Wilson. Yep. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be funny. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's going to be Deadpool not being so serious, and you're going to have Logan being like, what are you doing? And I like that Logan's in the cartoon. Like Yes, the yellow and blue. The yellow and blue. Yep. The comic and cartoon. Oh, yeah. Suit. It's bringing back. Uh, it's very nostalgic. So I'm looking forward to that. The director for Logan and the guy who wrote it was upset. Why? Was like Logan was the last movie for Hugh Jackman. For Hugh Jackman to that's hang, what he said. Hang up the claws, you know. And that's what Hugh Jackman said. And he's dead. Like he dies at the end of that movie. Spoiler alert: If you haven't seen Logan, but like he dies, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. And that, and, but now he's like, no, this is gonna be way too good. I think they bring him back to life. But from, it's, this is just way too good. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's it's. Even if they did, they could be like, "This is a prequel." Boom, that, that that that's how you take that away. Yeah, he never died. Oh, this is a prequel. Sorry, <laughs> like, and I'm pretty sure they'll mention it because he Deadpool always breaks the fourth wall. Oh yeah, he'd be like, "Oh, you thought he died in that movie? Well, psych, this happened five years before or whatever." Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm excited that they're doing this because I hope just like. Just like uh, the Spider Man and Deadpool comics. Yeah. I hope we get a Spider Man Deadpool movie. Oh, Could yeah. you imagine Tom Holland and Ryan Reynolds? Like, Tom Holland being like the funny kid he is, and then Deadpool having to be like 
almost like a mentor. Yeah. And just like that. That'd be funny. But that, that a crossover has to happen. Yeah, well, remember, so remember X-Men and X-Men have to join the MCU. You know, yeah, I think that's that's, that's next. It has to. No. Yeah, that's I think that's why I think we're, we're going to get it in this movie. Like they're going to you're going to get like some maybe not in that one Not in the movie, but you're going to get that. Like I think they're going to show so signs of that because Deadpool, he's an X-Men. Mm-hmm. Um, so like he you're not going to get hit. In that movie, you're not gonna get MCU stuff, but definitely in Fantastic Four. Yeah, yeah, because Fantastic Four, you know what I mean. You're gonna get Fantastic Four pulled into this. Fantastic Four teams up with the X Men a lot because they're both based mm-hmm. in New York. Spider Man, same thing. You know what I mean? They're all in New York. Doctor Strange, the Avengers. You have Avengers. I mean, Steve Rogers. Even though he's not, he's there. He's an old man. You think? You think they'll do like? I hope they bring old back man somehow. cameos for, for. If like anything, it, if Steve Rogers comes back, it'll be to be it would it would be in the place of uh, Nick Fury. He's a really old though. Well, I'm just saying they got that serum. <laughs> yeah. Make him like 55 instead of 85. Well, they would have to go back in time and grab him again. Yeah, but think about it. Nick Fury retires. Who 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 would you rather have in that place? Steve Rogers was the first Avenger. Remember that? Nick Fury yeah. saw after him. He went after he's, him. He's old. He's 80. He's oh, 80. like you said, you go back in time. You no, get the him. next person is Robin Trubatsky. I said, who would you rather have in that mo- in that position? Oh, well, I mean. Like, I would, I would rather have Steve running S.H.I.E.L.D. I guess. As yeah. Steve Rogers, not as Captain America. Well, yeah. Like you give him this, you, you you have to go back in time. You give him like the suit. You do what you have to do to make him not look like a weakling. You know what I'm saying? You have him running shield. Like he, oh shoot, you bring him and Peggy back. Peggy is shield. I know. Peggy, no, Peggy is That's shield. what I'm saying, but you bring both of them back. Oh. And like. Well, no, because her. Make her... him a little younger and you have them side by side again. So. Why can't we do that? I don't know. You go back in time. They 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 already they as soon as they went back in time for the stones, they just opened up a can of worms where you can go back in time and do whatever you want now. Yeah. Go back in time. Nick Fury goes back. Hey Cap, uh, I want to retire, <laughs> so I need you to run Shield. Okay. He's in his rocket chair. What do you mean run Shield? What is that? Uh, I'm retired. No, I don't think I will. He's like, I'm retired. He's like, no, you're not. And he picks him up and Peggy. <laughs> no, and then not. they go back. Then they go back in the present time and they're younger and they both running shields. I don't know. I would just. Because uh, you know that day's going to come when Nick Fury. Yeah, but I think by that time, if they write. I don't it, think they're going to kill gonna Nick be... Fury off. They have to. He has to retire. That would be the best way for him to retire. I think he would rather die in the line of action than retire. You think so? Yeah. Why? That's Nick Fury. That's how he is. Well, if you kill off Nick Fury, you can't really use that character at all anymore. Ever. Well, even if he retires, you can't use that character ever. Like, Steve, Nick Fury the Captain's second. not going to be Nick Fury after... Nick he, Fury the second. No. <laughs> Nick Fury the third. Like, it's just confusing. Like, <laughs> no, I know. I, w- I, would, I would hope he would just be like, I'm retiring. Like Chief Gordon? Chief Gordon. Yeah, from uh, Batman. Didn't he oh. retire? Instead of getting killed, he just retires. He, he, he becomes the commissioner. He dies. He didn't die as chief. <laughs> he dies commissioner. Chief Gordon. He didn't die as chief. I think he becomes mayor. Mayor becomes mayor Gordon after that. I think when he di- he dies as mayor. I think he dies as an old man. He yeah. As a mayor. So Nick, dang it, Nick Fury. He's got to become. He mayor. died as Mace Windu, and you're going to die President. as Nick Fury. Oh my God. President Fury. <laughs> Interesting. Oh yeah. I keep hitting mine. I hope we see more scrolls later. I think with the show. I think we'll see. Uh, you're gonna see more scrolls like as a natural, regular thing now. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I haven't seen the Marvels yet. It's on Disney Plus, but we'll see. No, you're gonna just see Fury, like not Fury, but you're gonna see um scrolls. The scrolls. I think instead of having their own place. Yeah. 
Well, not everybody knows about him yet either. Remember, that happened in a different part of the world. Correct. So it'll have to like unravel itself. I'm sure it'll hit breaking news. Maybe like in one of the next Marvel movies. Well, they, it like an MCU movie. It, it might... kind of did. Well, so remember when? Um, remember when? Um, one of the scrolls looked like Fury, and he killed. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's dead. She can't do it. Who? Robin Shabatsky's character. Yeah, she can't be. She can't take over shield. Dang, I forgot she died. I, anyway, I know two people who can though. He um kill like killed her and like. Yeah. Everybody's blaming the real Nick, mm-hmm. but he knows that it wasn't him. But that wasn't that country. No, but it was worldwide. It was worldwide news. Oh, that's right. It did break the news, but, but it didn't show the scrolls. Scroll. It's what that's what I'm saying. That's not, yeah. The scrolls are gonna have to like, because Nick Fury, remember, he wanted his whole time. He told Talos, "I want you guys to be able to live on Earth." Yeah. To help him, so I think he'll be the one to like. No, they're they're good. Talos is dead. Well, not Talos. I'm saying Fury will be the one to yeah. like, pr- like introduce them. So, dang, it's gonna be a lot. I just, I just gonna be so sad. We're not getting a lot of Marvel stuff this year. No, a lot of it's coming maybe next year. They still gotta figure out this. Uh, um, um, not what is it? Kang Dynasty thing. They gotta figure out this stuff too. Yeah. They got to get a replacement. Somebody's out there. They got somebody in mind. They're, yeah, they're working on it. Just leave him alone. I feel like it's going to be Finn. We'll just leave him alone. I think it'll be Finn. We'll just leave him alone. No, think about it, though. I think Finn will be end, end up, they'll end up giving it to him. Cast him as that. Go from Star Wars to Marvel. Just like they're doing with uh, Pedro Pascal and Oscar Isaac. Okay. So, all right. Alrighty. You don't want to entertain that one, so I'll just leave it on. Nope. Stupid. <laughs> so, yeah. Why don't you close us out there? All right. So, that's our um, episode. It's episode, what, 52? 52? 52, 53? Around there. You'll see it in the edit. 52. Uh, that means a year. Huh? That means a year of uh, episodes. Episode 52? Mm-hmm. I think that's it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, that's our top 10 seventies list with a little bit of a Marvel flair thrown in there. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you want to, you can catch us on uh, YouTube. Um, you can catch us on Spotify, Apple podcasts, Google podcast, Google, Pas- Google podcast is going away. Um, it's, it's merging with, uh, YouTube music. So YouTube music will have its own podcasting. It already does. But as of right now, YouTube podcast is still up. But once it goes away, you can find us on YouTube music. We're also on Amazon music. Um, yeah, and you can catch us on Twitter. We're everywhere. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch now. So follow us everywhere. Take us on the go. Download, like, subscribe, share. Put us on his background music. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you next week. Thank you. You're welcome.